quick video on how to do layouts we draw the stick diagram first and for the stick diagram we need a graph which we get from the schematic we represent every node of the schematic as a vertex of the graph and every transistor as an edge of the graph okay so we have a graph of vertex and edges and we draw a separate graph for the p structure and a separate graph for the n structure so let's start with a graph for the p structure let's start with vertex v this is transistor b or hb this is edge a which represents transistor a of the schematic let's name this node a node b this is at the same potential so we'll name this node o we will this is the ground node let's name this node x let's name this node y okay so for the p structure we have transistor b transistor a transistor this is node a node b this is transistor d node o this edge represents transistor e this edge represents transistor c and now we need a similar structure similar graph for the end structure so we'll start with node o this edge represents transistor b this edge is transistor c this edge is your transistor a this is your node g this is node o this edge represents transistor d and this edge represents transistor e okay now we need to find the euler's path euler's path is the path such that when we travel we traverse the graph exactly once basically euler's path traverse edge exactly once so if we start with vertex v we can go to vertex a via edge b or c so if we start with v we can follow this path but then we get stuck here so if we let me draw it if we start with v we can go to a b we can go to o and we can go to vertex b but then we miss out this edge we need to traverse each edge exactly once this is Euler's path okay so since we miss out on edge c instead of starting with b we'll start with vertex a okay so from vertex a we go to vertex b via edge c then b a d e this way we traverse each edge and we go through each edge exactly once we don't retraverse the same edge and similarly we need to find the Euler's path for the n structure okay so here we started with node to match the diffusions or to share diffusions and to have straight poly connections we need to match this structure we need to match the p structure with the n structure so if we start since we started with node c here we'll start with node c we'll go from g to x x to o and just let me write down the path here we does path c b a d e so let's see if we can get the same path here if not we have to scrap this so we'll start with node g we can go to node x and then we need a b so from x to o we can travel via edge b then edge a and then we cannot so if we start from this g edge we can go to x o and g and then we are stuck here because we cannot go via edge d we have to go via edge e so instead of 
getting this Euler's path we should have gone from A to E and then to D okay, so let's change this we have E D here so we can have C B A E D for the P structure for the N structure as well and now when we draw the layout let's represent it this as P diffusion and diffusion so you have C B A E D so here you have all your diffusions shared because this for the C transistor you started with node A so you represent this this becomes your node A this becomes your node B this becomes A again this becomes B this becomes O and this becomes B same thing for the N transistors this is C B A E D and then since we started with node G we have node G here X so this represents sorry the G node represents the source and the X node is the train this is the train so you can either to name it as D1 D2 this becomes the source of this transistor so it's getting a little confusing and messy so let me not go there let's name this as node x node y and let's represent the same thing in this layout so you have g x o this is y so you so O G this becomes Y and this becomes O so now you have just straight poly connections you can short all these polys then short these output nets with this output and these B's get shorted A's get shorted B's get shorted and this is your VCC you need to short the ground nets so this is the layout for this circuit now let's do try the